Hey guys, we're going to be comparing the app opening speed between the HTC One M8 and the iPhone 6. This isn't a scientific test by any means, I realise these devices are running different OS's with different code bases, but just take it as a face value test, which is getting you to your information first. Both devices are stock, no routing, etc. Both have been freshly booted, both have had their multitasking cleared, so yeah, let's go ahead and do this. Twitter's up first, both of these are on the same Wi-Fi connection, and that was pretty damn close, I'd say that was pretty much identical actually. Spotify's up next. We're done on the HTC One M8, the iPhone 6 is now finished, so a little bit behind there. IMDB does start showing information first on the M8, but the iPhone 6 does finish first loading all the pictures. Now Google Plus loads very fast on the M8, but it also doesn't automatically refresh the feed. The iPhone 6 does automatically refresh the feed, so you have to take that into account. Now some applications on Android do have a slight delay when they start, for example Dropbox here, but if we check this out in slow motion you can see the difference in the delay between the iPhone 6 and the HTC One M8, but the M8 actually catches it back up and it actually displays the information first. You can see a similar startup delay with the YouTube app on Android too, although again the M8 does catch the iPhone 6 up, only finishing a few milliseconds behind. Now notice how the iPhone version clearly has a splash screen, which allows the animation to fire first, and it gives the illusion of it loading faster, but once that splash screen goes, it's actually basically at the same loading point as the M8 is. Now there's no doubt the iPhone version is prettier on the eye, but in terms of which loads the content first, it's basically the same. In most other cases though, the M8 is actually on par or actually quicker to react over the iPhone 6, as you can see here, Facebook loads first on the M8, but if we check this again in slow motion, I'll pause it when I notice the M8 react, you'll see the iPhone hasn't actually started its animation yet. So yes, although the iPhone 6 does have slower animations by default, the M8 in a few cases is actually reacting first as well. So we're actually seeing a very similar story here to when I compared the iPhone 6 to the Nexus 5. It's actually pretty much identical in most of these tests. The camera was also slightly faster to load on the M8 over the iPhone 6. So in terms of the general app opening speed, there's very little between these two devices. With the iPhone 6 having just been released, you might have expected a bigger performance difference between these two devices, but that really wasn't the case here. Both are going to get you to your content very fast, but don't forget there are other factors to performance as well, things like web browser performance and gaming performance. So yeah, let me know what you guys think. Peace out.